ஆழிய சமாஜ் விகரஸ் ரீஃபார்ம் மூமெண்ட் ஆஃப் மாடர்ன் ஹிந்துவிசம் ஃபவுண்டட் இன் எயிட்டீன் செவன்டி ஃபைவ் பை ஸ்ரீ தயானந்த சரஸ்வதி ஹூஸ் எய்ம் வாஸ் டு ரீ எஸ்டாப்ளிஷ் த வேதஸ் த ஏர்லியஸ்ட் ஹிந்து ஸ்கிரிப்சர்ஸ் ஆஸ் ரிவீல்டு ட்ரூத் ஃபர்தர் ஹீ எஸ்டாப்ளிஷ்ட் டென் பிரின்சிபல்ஸ் கால்டு த டென் நியமஸ் ஆர் பிரின்சிபல்ஸ் ஆரிய சமாஜ் பிலீவ்ட் இன் ஓன் காட் நோன் பை ஓம் ஹூ இஸ் ஆம்னிசியன்ட் ஆம்னி ப்ரசன்ட் ஆம்னி பொட்டன்ட் சோர்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஆல் ஜஸ்ட் அண்ட் பிளிஸ்ஃபுல் இன்டெலிஜென்ஸ் அண்ட் மெர்சிஃபுல் ஆல் தீஸ் ரிஃப்ளெக்ட் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் நேம்ஸ் வித் ஒன் ஆஸ்பெக்ட் பீங் காட் அ யூனிவர்சல் ட்ரூத் welcome back in this video let us see some aspects of do's and don'ts while learning veda it may not be a very detailed one the first guidance that comes about learning vedas is through uh, there are six defects while learning vedas this is what is said in the classical texts what is that is it is uh, a shloka that starts with the word shigri shirakambi now a hurry and a fast rendering that is you render vedas in a very fast and hurried phase as if you want to finish it immediately this is the first defect second is you should not shake your head shoulders and other limbs like as if you have got fits or you should control your movement but if you are reciting vedas with hasta mudra which is taught to you by the guru then you should only move that part of the body otherwise you should be in a gentle posture only next you should not also render veda in a very weak tone it should have a posture for whatever rendering that you are doing so it cannot be very weak the fourth one is you start rendering the veda in one's own way disregarding the swara or varna this is a very major problem so you are not supposed to ignore the siksha or what has been taught by the guru and what is the standard swara varna and change and render it on your own these four are very critical now the fifth and sixth one that i am going to talk about may not be immediately be applicable to the householder learners rendering without learning the meaning see when you join a veda class your guru may not be able to give all the meaning first getting into the meaning of the vedas in itself is a very big subject so you will hardly find very few bhashyas or books on translation from one language to the other in a very limited fashion what your guru can help is for example he is tre- teaching you bhagya sukta in bhagya sukta first we call all the deities which are more important to the successful conduct of our puja yagna or whatever function that we are conducting so the guru can only tell you this is the purpose of reciting here we are calling all the deities that's what he can tell you so it is for you or a group of people volunteering together to go and find out more meaning meditate upon it and to get the whole flow of the vedas now you can also contact some of the vedic experts and vedic experts if they take any class or somebody is interpreting any bhashyam please try to join those classes whether physically or if it is available on the internet the sixth one defect learning defect it says is rendering from written text what it means is you just don't write anything on a piece of paper and recite it that means we have a lot of questions on it a very senior krishna ajurvedi learning vedas uh, in kashi he told though it is said if you can see some of the veda parayana in the internet including in tdd tirumala tirupati devasthanam they have their book and render from it that means it is not a learning or a recital defect defect in the veda recital no but somebody is conducting a puja or where they have to start with the regular mantra or a part of a brahmana aranya or samhita is rendered it's not that you are supposed to actually see and read then you don't become a, a prohit but there is a very practical uh, situation that you find see rudra ekadashi is conducted by the householders now those who or in the inner circle the main leaven may not look at the book they may just have it for support and render continuously 
For example, I always have my book. I don't read it from the book, but when I see the start of every mantra, I will correctly skip so that I don't jump or miss out a line. So this is depend. This is something that depends on the style of your guru. But my gurus, two three people whom from whom I have learned, used to say, "You don't want to learn, uh, or you don't want to have a book in your hand, but you do recite wrongly. It is better." to keep referring to the book till the subjects become thorough okay so these are all the basic six defects that comes while uh, learning the vedas while rendering the vedas your swara varna has to be correct not only that the places like you know correctly pronouncing or uttering the effect to be given for visargam avagraham has to be correct if you don't do it properly for example instead of saying Al- alaksh alakshmir me you may say lakshmir me so the entire meaning instead of saying asura you say sura the meaning will go topsy turvy so you should be very clear and careful in uttering all practice your guru rendering together with your gurus and your friends and reach a certain level of proficiency in our siksha there is a warning given first if you continuously render vedas wrongly it will first affect your physical body you do rendering of vedas continuously and you develop any kind of new body pain or disturbances that means you are not rendering the vedas correctly then the siksha further wants you keep continuously rendering certain areas wrongly then it can affect your mind also then the entire cause for which the purpose for which you started the vedic study can go for a toss this has been very clearly mentioned in the vyasa siksha at the end of the vyasa siksha there is a word called chirakala abhyastana this means while practicing you get something wrong into your mind if you don't correct they say it becomes nirandara chirakala abhyastana then it becomes permanently engraved in your mind so you keep repeating it wrongly without realizing that you are repeating wrongly but you think you are repeating right but it is wrong that's why correcting yourself during group learning and if you get doubts get the doubts clarified with your guru is very important and second next is when you are reciting vedas the food intake sleep lot of other issues have to be taken care of properly for example you are sleeping habit getting up practice of the veda in a specific time yes you have got your office and other uh, work to attend to practicing with your friends these all become very important on all this the food is very important one has to follow strictly vegetarian food and any other bad habits would also bring in an unintended vibration into the body and even if it is vegetarian food you cannot just say okay i am going to eat with lot of masala hot stuff and all please it doesn't hold good if you want to eat any of them once in a while yes you can have a small piece but not while you have any veda rendering in the next 24 or 48 hours you avoid all these kind of you know punch and food avoidable items it will be very good because at a certain level you find the veda mantras also generate certain level of heat so you try to have very fatty substance like udid dal that is the white gram in which normally vada is made you try to have a little extra of that in a breakfast and uh, recite take part in a ekadasha rudra japa after 5 6 recital you will uh, know what the uh, effect it is having on your body so this is another thing that is very important your food intake your behavior following following iyama niyama as it is called a routine which is proper is very important the next thing is you all learn vedas yes fine revision is one area that you lack or your guru lacks gurus teach a lot of people and they may not have a time to ask each and every one of the student to recite a specific area sukta or a mantra or a paragraph of a mantra so that he can really assess and tell the student where he stands 
this becomes many times a problem if your guru is someone who insists on individual recital in front of him periodically to uh, to assess and tell you where you stand how you are reciting it will be excellent please note this but if you don't have a guru you are learning even uh, through remote means and the guru doesn't have the time to do it you have to find someone who will help you to take an assessment of yourself this is a very very important part another don't that you need to you know know is many of the vedic uh, students once they start the vedas they become over enthusiastic now many of these over enthusiastic student write to us normally we tell them please first go by your guru look at what your guru has start follow it for some time if you read our articles and it is it says a method in a siksha a part of a siksha which is different from what your guru teaches please don't start any dispute out of it what we are giving is for our knowledge you may reach it because when you are at a lower class you cannot deduct 7 from 2 but as you go to a higher class you will give an answer as minus 5 isn't it so the learning it takes quite a long time for example somebody writes sir one of the book says not rakshoganam it says rakshoganam you should ask your guru not us and many people come to us with issues which they have to sort it with our guru we normally ask who is your guru please refer to him they don't answer so there are many things that you try to rise out of your over enthusiasm without understanding the conventions used in our book or the conventions used in the book that you are learning from this is one of the major mistakes that you all seem to make so please be in touch you have to have a mentor please be in touch with the mentor veda vms is not a mentor we are only in the job of compiling veda mantras for krishna ayurveda so try to get constant feedback from your guru even you are learning remotely in a place see you go to madras or you come to bombay keep some time with veda uh, guru or a shastri hill to whom you go and you know recite and he can tell you what are the corrections that are required but with the available good audio and video material i think you should be able to come out better nowadays but please remember avoid all over enthusiasm to raise a question immediately before you have learned all the sites see it is like you feel an elephant so as soon as you feel one part of the elephant that is the body don't come to a decision that it is a wall while learning from a guru please try to empathize with your guru as how best he is trying to make you learn the vedas and recite it better so you should give him all kinds of cooperation and go along with him and don't argue about differences that you are learning from some other source or the internet then you better learn uh, don't learn veda so attachment to your guru and try to at least grasp to the level what that he knows is the first point that's what many of the gurus are trying to give that out to you see the depth of learning the vedas has got no limit as well as the width so when you get into learning vedas it's a big exploration of your life so you will always be in the learning mode let us take music somebody starts with the music to get the notes correctly and to start singing better it takes them 2 to 3 years vedas are also something similar you learn keep on repeating and do your practice over 2 to 3 years you will find and the fourth fifth year you are reciting vedas much better and please remember nobody has become an expert unless they have been a trainee at some point of time right he has put in all efforts to reach the stage where he is in so when you are learning vedas as i said there will be some mistakes that come in so if a professional tries to criticize you or correct you you should take it in a good spirit so see we face such kind of situations when somebody like the ganapati mama whom we had gone to he criticizes householders for letting certain things loose he says after some time they get into a view oh i have learned everything the main reason for this is availability of too much of information around you but that has not got imbibed in you as a, a complete knowledge but don't get discouraged if somebody criticizes or discourages you you should remain positive your learning should be continuous you are not supposed to stop then only you can reach much higher purposes of just learning vedas not just 
repeating it like a parrot see the veda learning in modern terms you can say it is like a process of you can call cmm level 5 you have to go on optimizing your efforts and go for the uh, learning to the and take yourself to the best level as possible so in the next video perhaps uh, we will start with uh, vedic topic maybe we will be starting with uh, letters uh, corresponding to the article of sanskrit letters okay thanks